Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be doing differentiation where we'll be finding the revenue along with the marginal revenue. Let's get started. The revenue function is the income from selling Q units. So revenue is equal to price times quantity breaks price per unit. That's what Q represents and Q is the number of units sold. If we talk about marginal revenue, then marginal revenue is a revenue gained by producing one additional unit of a product or service. Let's look at an example. If the demand equation for a monopolist product is P equal 250 minus 0.2 Q, where P is a price per unit in dollars when Q units are demanded. Calculate the value of Q for which revenue is maximum. Now, we want the value of Q. That's what the question asks for. What is Q but when the revenue is at maximum? The first question you need to ask yourself is, do we have the revenue function? And in this case, we don't. Now, as stated before, revenue is equal to price times quantity. This is our price function. So price is 250 minus 0.2Q times quantity, which is Q. So multiplying this, R is equal to 250Q minus 0.2Q square. Now this is our revenue function. The question didn't ask us, you know, what is Q when I have my revenue function? But it asks, so what is Q when the revenue is maximum? Since it's state maximum, so if you remember when you did a stationary point, first you find the first derivative to find out the value of X. So you equate the first derivative to be equal to zero and you will find the value of X, which are the turning point. To determine if the turning points are minimum or maximum, then we will do the second derivative and test if it is greater than zero, then that will be a minimum. And if it is less than zero, then we know it's a maximum. This is what they are asking us to do. So we have to differentiate this, which gives us our marginal revenue, which is 250 minus 0.4Q. Now, after differentiating this, this is a revenue function. And just as how you would have find the first derivative and equate the function to be equal to zero to find x, it's the same scenario here where I am going to equate the first derivative, which is the revenue function, which is the marginal revenue function. So I have 250 minus 0.4q, and I equate it to be equal to zero. Now solving, I carry this over the equal sign. So I have minus 0.4q is equal to negative 250. Then I divide both sides by minus 0.4. So these cancel, so q is equal to 250 and you divide it by 0 0.4. You realize I said 250 because the signs will cancel. So this will give me 625 units. So is this a minimum or a maximum? Looking at this, I need to differentiate this one more time. So having R double prime, this will become zero and this will become minus 0 0.4. Because the value is negative, then I know it's a maximum. And indeed, this is verifying that the revenue, the value of Q is 625 for us to have maximum revenue.
Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.